record this. All right, so let's start at the edge of your mat and let's do just slowly reach down. We're gonna do an inchworm. So slowly reach down to your toes. Do it nice and slow this first time. Walk it out. You're in that plank. And we're just gonna hold that plank for a second. And then you go back to a down dog, stretch out your hamstrings and your calves, push your heels towards the ground. Come back down into that strong plank. And then as you walk back to your feet, walk your hands back to your feet, but um, bend your knees so that you, when you come up, see I'm coming up and I'm already in a squat. So now we're gonna do 10 squats. Down and up for nine, for eight, for seven, we're gonna do this three more times. Six, now five, four, three, two, and one. All right, one more time. Pick up the pace a little bit. Inchworm down to your toes. Walk on out. Hold that plank for a second. Nice and strong. Back to a down dog, stretching out those hamstrings and those calves. Back down to a plank. Walk your hands back to your feet but bending your knees so that you come up and you're already in a squat. 10 squats. At your own pace, you got five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do that one more time, then we'll do some butt kicks, some high knees, and then we're good to go. Down and out. Hold that plank. Your heart should be, rate should be up just a tiny bit. Back to a down dog, stretching out the back part of your legs. Push those heels down. Back to a plank. Walk your hands back to your squat. We're just gonna do five squats. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's go right into butt kicks. We're gonna do this for 10. Five, three, let's go right into high knees. Let's go. Nice and light on your toes for 10. Pump your arms. Three, two, slow it down. Let's just push side to side for a second. Tighten your core, heart rate's up. Reach up just a couple times, just mobility. All right, shake out your arms. All right, so like I said, we're focusing on burpees today gonna be a lot of cardio you're gonna be fine I promise you'll be fine you might not like it but you're gonna get through it so we've got four exercises we're gonna start with the most intense kind of burpee and work our way down so we've got everything's only 30 seconds because I know it's a lot so 30 seconds on 15 seconds off that's pretty big compared to what we normally do like 45 on 10 off so our first one burpee you come down either a regular push-up or you can drop down to your knees and push up. Pop back up. So that's our first 30 seconds and you'll get 15 off. Then we take it down to just a regular burpee with no push-up. So just hop, pop back. And again, you don't need to jump. You can always modify these. You can reach, you can step back and step in. So our second one's a normal burpee. Our third exercise is a half burpee. So you're starting in a plank. You're popping up to hold that squat. That's why we did that, prep that in the beginning. Pop back up, pop here. Again, you can step. Fourth one, even less, just your feet to your hands. You're popping, your feet come to your hands and you're popping back. Again, you can step, no issue. So 30 on, 15 off, we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna go down and do some core. So I'm gonna show you the two core exercises, can we do one on one side, one on the other? So we can just move, move, move through the whole workout. So first exercise is a sprinter sit up for your core. So you're on your back, normal sit up. You drive your knee in as your elbow comes back. We're gonna do one side at a time. So opposite, opposite leg, opposite elbow. You're driving that up. Then we'll do the other side, same thing. And then we've got elbow, elbow plank rotations. So you're on your forearms. I know this is a lot, I'll cue you through it. Last one. So your arms are parallel to each other. They're like goalposts. Your plank is normal, it's nice and strong. Your hands are in fists. 
You're gonna rotate one fist, my right fist, towards my left elbow, and take that left hand and tap out. We're working on rotation, anti-rotation. Even though you're going out, everything stays stable. Back in, reset, opposite. Left hand to right fist, right arm out, reset. That was a lot, I'll cue you through it, no big deal. We're starting with our burpees, boom, boom, boom. 30 on, 15 off, all the way down, three times through. So, we're starting off with a burpee and a push-up. Grab your water. All right, ready, burpee and push-up. And it's only 30 seconds on, you get a whole 15 off, let's go. Again, you can drop down to your knees for the push-up like I'm doing. Nice jump, you don't have to jump. Make sure that your form is good even when you're tired. You only got 10 seconds left and you get a break. Five, try to get one more in. Three, two, all right, take a break. We get a whole 15 seconds because now we're just going back to a regular burpee, no push-up. If you want to go crazy today, you can keep adding that push-up. I will not be adding that push-up. Ready? Let's go. Because you're not adding that push-up, maybe you can move a little faster. We got 15 seconds left. Lots of cardio today. You got five, three, should we get one more in? Two, 15 off. Now we've got our half burpee. Starting in a plank position. And you're just gonna hop up to a squat and hop back. No jump. Ready? Let's go. Feet to hands, come up to a squat. Don't come out of that squat. And back down, hop back. Or step back, either one. Legs are probably feeling it. Heart rate's up. I told you you wouldn't like me very much during the workout. But that's okay, because we're doing it together. Five, three, two, and break. Just feet to hands. You're either walking in or hopping. I will hop. Starting that plank. Three, two, all right. Feet to hands, hop back. We're not even coming up. We're progressing it down. You don't have to bring it all the way to your feet. It depends on your mobility of your hips. Try to push it as far up as you can, but don't go past the mobility of your hips. 10 seconds. Then we get to do some core. Three, almost there. Two, and all right. Let's go to our core. We are gonna take down the break from 15 seconds to 10 seconds with core, just cause it's not quite as intense cardio wise. Sprinter sit up, get on your back. We're just gonna do one side at a time. Ready? Lay on your back, 30 seconds, sprint your sit up, and let's go. On your back, opposite arm in, opposite knee up. One side at a time, drive it up. It's that sprinter position. The Olympics are coming up. If you you watch the trials like I did, this is what those sprinters looked like when they left, right before they left the, I don't know what you call those. Place where their feet goes. Two, and 10 second break, we're gonna do the other side. Remember not to use your back. Three, two, other side. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Both driving up and driving back. Using core and your momentum. Halfway. Doing good, you got less than 10. Five, three, 
two, and all right. Last exercise, each side of this circuit. I want you to come with me in a plank and I'll walk you through it again. Ready? In your fists, you're in a plank, fists are forward. Right fist to left elbow. Take that left hand, tap it out to the side. Bring it back, back to your starting position. Left fist to right elbow. Take your other side, bring it back, back to your starting position. Right fist, left, left elbow, left hand taps out, back to your starting position. Right fist, left fist, right elbow, tap out. Keep going at your own pace. Keep going. We're gonna do this one for a minute because for some reason I thought that this was a two-sided exercise when I was planning this. It's not. We're gonna keep going for a minute because we're here for HIT, high intensity interval. I made a mistake planning, we get to exercise more. Ha, isn't it fun? Less than 15 seconds, you got it. Then we get a long break in water. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and take a break. Grab some water. If anybody doesn't quite get the coordination of the elbows, just do a regular plank. No big deal. Regular plank, plank jacks, plank hip dips, anything that we've done before, you're in a plank, you're fine. This is just another variation. I'm gonna give it about 45 seconds, then we're gonna do the whole thing again. We're gonna go three, th three times two, three times through the whole thing. Everybody like those burpees? I sure didn't, but you know, they're good for me. So you have about 20 seconds left. Then we go back to the burpees with a push up. So about 10 seconds, get ready, get all set. About five, three, burpee with a push up, and 30 seconds, let's go. I almost forgot to push up. Got 15 seconds left, you're halfway. Try to get the same amount that you did the first half. Almost there. We got five, four, three, two, and 15 second break. Regular burpee, no push up, unless you're going extra today, then keep adding it. Catch your breath. Five, three, two, let's go. I thought it was nice that I'm making it easier as we go in and not making you build up to the regular push up. Ten seconds. If you're stepping, like I started doing, make sure you're stepping every other foot. So left in, then right in. Take a break. Half burpee, coming up and holding that squat. Get ready, start to plank. Five, three, two. All right, jump up, hold that squat. Make sure when you're doing this, you're not, you're standing up straight. Your core is braced. Super easy to get into your lower back. We don't want that. If you're in your lower back, start doing some steps instead of jumps. Three, two, and break. See, in and out. Again, you start to feel that in your lower back. Start taking it down, modification. Find that plank, three, Two, and hop, and back, and hop, and back. Twenty seconds. We 
We got 10 left. Let's go. Five, three, two, and break. All right, let's flip over. Sprint your sit up. Ready? Pick a side. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Pick a side. Driving with power. Ready? Let's go. Push that lower back into the ground before you start. Halfway, 15 left. 10. Side almost there. Three, two, and 10 second break. We'll move to the other side. Five, three, two, and other side. Push that lower back down. Now let's go. Drive with power, drive with purpose. Sprinters don't stroll down that the track lane. It's nice and powerful. Five, three, two, and break. Let's flip over to that plank. I'm doing an elbow switch. I'm not gonna say what I'm doing this time so you can go at your own pace. Or just do a regular plank. Ready? Let's go. If you're doing the elbows with me, your goal is to not tip your hips. When your hand taps out, that's your core, your anti-rotation strength, your transverse abdominis. That's why we do so many planks. If I put a book on your back, it shouldn't fall off. Again, we're going for a minute. Five seconds till 30 seconds. Let's keep going. You guys got this. You get a long break after this. You can also do this on your knees if you prefer. That's not comfortable for me, so I'm at. Keep it up. You guys got this. 15 seconds, you get a break, you get water, and we're gonna go into our last round. Less than 10. Don't stop. Five, three, two, and break. We're not doing a lot of upper body today because so we're getting a lot of cardio. And between the push ups in the beginning and the minute of the shoulder rotations in the end, should be pretty good. All right, grab your water. We've got one more round to do. about 30 more seconds. Catch your breath. Each time we do a set of burpees, we're gonna check it off our list. You don't have to do it again. Got about 10 seconds left. Get ready. Burpee with a push up, last time. Ready, 30 seconds and let's go. you want to really go for it. And then we're going to say no to more intensity. Five, three, two, and let's go.
15 seconds, almost there. Less than 10. We got five, three, two, and break. Half burpee, holding that squat. Almost there, five. Get to that plank with me, three, two, feet to hands, hold that squat, chest is up, core is tight, the weight is in your core, not your lower back. Less than 15 seconds, come on. We got five, three, two, and break. Last burpee part of the day, guys. Feet to hands. Straight pop back and forth. Five seconds. Come on your mat. Three, two, get into that plank. And feet to hands, pop back. Or stepping. Opposite side every other time. We got 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, and break. We've got core and then we're done. It goes by so fast. All right, we're gonna get right into it. Sprinter set up. Ready? 30 seconds, pick one side. Let's go. Push that lower back down. or you can do plank jacks or athlete's choice. Ready? Let's go. Athlete's choice, one minute. Whatever core exercise you want to do, I'm doing the plank, the fist rotation planks. As long as when you're doing a plank, your shoulders are under, your elbows are under your shoulders, your shoulders are pulled back and not towards your ears. Your glutes are engaged, your core is tight, keep going. Your heels are pushed back towards the floor. Keep going, we got 30 seconds. Then your workout's totally done. You can hold a regular plank, anything you want. Athlete's choice, because we got Woo, we got 15 seconds left. We got 10 seconds, come on. Engage your core, engage your glutes. Five, three, two, and your workout is done. Grab some water. We're going to start on the floor with our stretching. Okay. Let's 
starting that butterfly. We're definitely gonna stretch out our hips. A lot of hip flexor work with all of those burpees, jumping back and jumping forward. So I'm sure some of you know, um, Sarah is leaving us very sad on July 9th is her last day, but we have a new program manager. I'm staying here and we have a new program manager coming in. Her name is Molly. She's fantastic. I know her outstretch that right leg. So Molly will be also be teaching hit. Molly will be taking over Sarah's stretch and restore. Not Sarah will still be doing it this week, this coming week. But then after that, I think Molly's Molly's taking over. But Molly's great, even though we're sad Sarah's leaving. Left side. And then um, our, the actual gym here is opening on July 12th for all staff that are back on site right now. If you're not back on site, you'll have to wait till September. But if you're working on site right now with a contract tracer and all that, you can come and use the gym. Otherwise, we'll be all ready to go by September. Right knee up, squeeze it towards your chest. So lots of stuff happening. If you have any questions, you can message me. I think I know basically everything that's going on. Um, or you know the Freddie Mac Fitness Center. Switch sides, left side. Plug in your knee into your chest. Since we did a lot of the hip flexor stuff, we're gonna flip over onto our stomachs. We're gonna do a pigeon pose. So you're starting in a cat crawl position. You're starting on your hands, on your knees. Pick a side. I'm gonna bring my right knee, or my right foot up and over. So it's underneath my left hip. So you're in the front. I know Sarah does this, so you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but right here. And then if you can, bring it down to your forearms. If you can't do that with your flexibility, totally fine. And then if you can, all the way down to your hands, rest your head on the floor. And slowly come on up, slowly flip that leg out, back into a nice tabletop position and switch sides. Left foot under that right hip. Go from your hands to your forearms if that's comfortable to you. And then whenever you're ready, go from your forearms all the way down to your hands, rest your forehead on the ground. And whenever you're ready, slowly come up to your hands, rotate that foot out, back in tabletop, and come on up. Slowly walk your hands to your feet and let's stretch out those hamstrings. So if my hamstrings are really tight, that's okay. Try to touch your toes. Try to touch the floor. And slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. We'll stretch out our quads from those squats. Right foot into right hand. Balance. If you want that deeper stretch, Opposite foot, opposite hand. And our fun little balance move. Take that right hand and slowly bend, soften that right knee, try to touch that left toe. And squeeze your glutes on the way up. Woo! Nice fun balance. All right, switch sides. Left foot into left hand. I don't know why my balance is so off today. Woo! If you want to, switch sides, deeper stretch. Soften that right knee. If you want to, try that balance. Left foot, left hand to right foot. Touch it, squeeze your glutes when you come up. One side's gonna be better than the other. That side is obviously my better side because I didn't fall over this time. And release, stretch our hamstrings out just a little bit more. Left leg is extended, right leg is bent. All my weight's on my right bent leg. 
Feeling that stretch in that outstretched left leg and tap your toe up and down, extending that stretch into your calf. 10, 9, toe taps, 8, 7, 6, 5, 2, and 1, switch sides. Left leg is bent, right leg is outstretched. All my weight is on that bent left leg. Feeling that stretch in my outstretched right leg. And toe tap for 10, 9, 8, 5, 3, 2, and 1. Come on up. Let's do some big arm circles. Other direction. And bring that left arm up and across your body. Gently pulling it across. Anybody doing anything fun for the 4th of July weekend? I kind of forgot it was the 4th of July weekend. Until about two days ago. Switch sides. I my first in-person 5K in like a year and a half. Your what? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Oh, I was say I have my first in-person live 5K in a year and a half. Ooh. Take that left arm up and over. That's really exciting. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I've done an in-person race. I think it was like two years ago, my half marathon back when I lived in Wisconsin. Switch sides, last stretch of the day, right arm up and over. And release whenever you feel ready. Let's do two deep breaths. Inhale up and up. Exhale, swan dive down. Touch those toes, bend your knees. Inhale up one more time. Exhale all the way down. Come on up. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you next week. And if you have any questions, just let me know.